moment of panic point. Not as a family. We didn't intend to, but we did. But it was for my sister's birthday party, which, by the way, growing up with three sisters, like, and being the younger brother, I, I, you know I have a role in that type of stuff. Like, specifically, Carolina had, like, ten girls over for this one specific party. And this continued on. Like, this still happens to this day. But it, it kind of ended after, like, high school era. Um, it went all the way up to years, just a few years ago, but especially back then when they'd all be in this cramped room at our older house in the movie room is what we called it, and they would just be sitting there on the couch. I would just barge in, you know, snitch on them, or just, like, <laughs> I don't know what I would do, honestly. I was a eight-year-old little brother. We all went out to Panic Point, though. Panic Point is a just a giant theme park Halloween though just like everything but Halloween themed and you know you had your average oh, I'm pretty sure it was an age limit or some legal documents or, I definitely probably shouldn't have been allowed there but you know I they just put me in the back seat and I went with them and honestly I wasn't that scared there were clowns coming at me with like all these bloody masks and everything and I have to thank Nathan and possibly other friends for just showing me a bunch of random scary videos like paranormal videos as a kid because I was already used to that type of stuff so just seeing it in real life I was like okay hi guys I was what eight years old nine at most but the out of everything that happened that night there was like haunted trails and shacks and sheds and hay rides out of everything the one thing I actually kind of like participated in and it was kind of like a waiting game. We were waiting for um, Carolina and her friends to be done. So we were like, let's do this five-minute thing. Boy, were we wrong. It was not five minutes. We see hedges, you know, just in the distance. And we're like, oh, it's a giant corn maze. Was it, were they hedges? Okay, maybe they weren't hedges. Maybe they were just like corn. I don't know. Husks, if you will. We walk inside and immediately it's like this big opening it feels weird to say that when I'm talking about a bunch of bushes, but we thought we were just going to be in and out. Next thing you know, we got our, we punched our ticket in, we like went on, and we were in there for at least 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure Dad like started, just, he didn't scream, but we got to a point where we got to like kind of like the epicenter of the whole thing, like it was the center of it, and there were, I counted, eight different outlets we had no idea where to go and it was a big round circle like a roundabout with eight different <laughs> think of it that way and dad was just beside himself i don't know man he was panicking because it is panic point after all and <laughs> i'm pretty sure he got on the phone i don't know who he got on the phone with i remember him on the phone i think with like mom or something it was me dad and maybe one of my other sisters. I didn't bring any friends with me. I was riding solo. <laughs> and he put up the phone and I think we heard that we were like on the edge of the maze. By the way, he was just in control the full time. I remember I wanted to go a certain way and afterwards when he got out, turned out that was, <laughs> that was the right way. <laughs> oh, and I'm remembering the route. It was literally the exit to the maze was, I think, on the same side as the entrance, which really fooled a lot of people. It was just kind of hidden. Uh, Dad, though, like, just literally cut through, like, just kind of, like, walked out, which was against the rules, you know, but he literally, like, I'm pretty sure everyone was, like, ready to go in the car, and we were still... Poor Dad. He was, like, he had to get out of there. And, you know, his last resort, his Hail Mary, was just to just start walking through the... <laughs> the bushes, the ma the walls of the maze, and we made it. We were on the exterior. We got out of there, and got in our car and zoomed off. <laughs> that was the scariest thing out of the whole entire. I felt trapped. The funniest thing is that like it was, like no more than like eight feet off the ground, which is funny. Like we could hear everything around us. We weren't the only ones in the maze either. There's probably at least, like, 15 other people in there. Also very panicked. Ugh. I want to go in another one, though.